the genesis of this started about 30 years ago with this book. My husband and I do antiques and I really like old antique books. So this was one of the first I bought, which was around 30 years ago, and brought it home and started a collection over 30 years and I just put them on my bookshelf and left them sit. I never really read the books. I just wanted them to look at. So I'd been going recently to the Seventh-day Adventist Church on Sabbath and I wasn't sure if I should continue or not because early in my life, like 50 years ago, I was in a church, it was a Sabbath-keeping church, and I found out after about 10 years it was not for me, it was a cult-like church, and so it kind of impressed upon my mind that I have to be aware of church. So I never really went to church, I visited a few on Sundays, like one time here, one time there, and so I started the Seventh-day Adventist, and something held me there, I don't know what, to tell you the truth. Every week I said, yeah, I'll go back another week. Well, after a couple months, I started thinking about it, and I started getting uneasy. So I prayed to God a couple different nights. I said, please help me with this confusion. I'm not comfortable. I would like to have an answer to should I be coming here? Should I not be coming here? So one day, first part of February, I decided to clean my living room, house clean it, which is unusual. I never house clean in February, so that was the first uh, oddity. I cleaned my living room all day, and toward the end, I was looking, I cleaned my bookcase with all those books, and I thought, I'm gonna take one of these nice books out, and I'm gonna get in it and read it this evening after I'm all done cleaning, which I did. I went to my bookshelf, picked up this book, why I don't know yet. It's not me to pick out a book to lay on my nice clean living room table. I wanted something pretty. Well, this is wrapped in probably a thousand pieces of tape. But nevertheless, I picked it out. And in the evening I sat down with my drink of water and I started to look through it. Well, I glanced through, as I do with books, I don't start at the beginning. I glanced through and I saw that there were some books on the early, some chapters on the early church. And I thought, oh, that'd be interesting. So I actually flipped through those without reading them. And I just kept flipping through, looking at different pages. And I came to a page that caught my eye. And the chapter on the page said Sabbath keepers in America. And I thought, oh, that hits home because I'm interested in the Sabbath. And that's the church I'm going to, Sabbath church. And I'm reading on after the year 1844, their attention was called to the Bible doctrine of the Sabbath. In the course of a few years, many embraced this doctrine. They were called Seventh-day Adventists. Well, I had to continue that because that was just exactly what I was thinking on for weeks. It says the prophet declares that the remnant of the people of God in the last days will keep the commandments of God and have the testimony of Jesus Christ. I thought, well, that's interesting. That seems to be what these people were teaching. It says God has joined the two together, the commandment of God, commandments of God and the testimony of Jesus, and no man can put them asunder. And then the man, Mr. Matson, who wrote this book, I found out later was a Seventh-day Adventist. And I just closed the book. I thought that was so amazing. So that, in essence, I felt was a gift from the Holy Spirit who put my hand to pick out that book because I wouldn't have done it. <laughs> so that's my story. And to me, that was just so direct. God, that I, I spent days just in awe of that. That's where I believe that's where He wants me to be.